folks were alcoholics and I saw what the alcohol did to them and I thought man that is not going to be me when I get older and you know I, I didn't never done any illicit drugs in my life and and um, and you know never used drugs competing at later all I got in a bad car accident and more surgery and that followed by getting hit by a truck here in Fargo when I was out running and back in the hospital and then I fell I off had numerous cliff. surgeries and I I started getting dependent on this gosh darn painkillers and then I started got to the point where I really didn't need them anymore but I liked how they made me feel that was the start of slowly and then fairly quickly going really to the point where all that mattered was to get the drugs take the drugs and make sure I didn't get caught take I was taking upwards of 80 to 90 pills a day of Percocet and Demerol I, I drink like a half a bottle of Maalox or Pepto-Bismol to kind of coat my stomach. You know, I lied to my family, to my friends. I, I, could, I could reason every pill I took. Well, gosh, I had this accident, I had that accident. You know, I'm still recovering. And when I know. couldn't find any more doctors, you know, I, I started forging my own prescriptions. I mean, I had never been in any trouble in my life. I never. I knew I had a problem, you know, and I knew I needed to get help, but I was so ashamed at what I've been doing and I didn't really know to, who was, to turn to. Thankfully I was able to get into treatment and um, I was in some kind of either inpatient, outpatient or aftercare for about a year. I'm almost certain that if I would not have got caught what, the day I did, I don't know if I would have lasted another couple of days because that handful of pills I would take before I go to bed eventually would have been enough to where I just wouldn't have woken up in the morning. And thankfully I got caught when I did, otherwise I probably wouldn't be here. Definitely. That whole family component is huge, you, I, I think, but as bad as it was for me, it, I think it was harder on my family. They had to live with me and they had to, to go through all the emotional stuff like I did. No, they didn't have to, to battle the addiction and, and go through withdrawals and things like that, but there were so many other things that they had to deal with. Not, you know, being honest, my, making excuses why I couldn't do this or do that, lying, using money to buy the drugs, you know, all those, and so many people have blinders on. They, you know, oh, it doesn't happen in our town, in our school, my kids would never do anything like that. What they do to put that individual back together again, but as importantly, put that whole family back together again. It, it, it's beyond words and description what it does for the people, for the community. You take a person that's, you know, basically living in the gutters and putting his life back together where he's, part of society again and a part of a society that's putting back into the community again and it's priceless. You cannot put a price tag on what you know people like First Step Recovery are doing for those people fighting addictions.